Hi, this is Robert from uh, Powered Fusion. Yeah, for this video, I was going to look at trying to replace the strain relief on my old workhorse soldering iron. It's an Antex XS25, so it's a 25 watt kind of basic resistive type soldering iron. Um, even though I have a, another type of Antex one, uh, kind of a plug-in one, here, I think this is 50 watt. It's got some basic temperature control. Um, if I'm reaching for the, a soldering iron, I tend to pull out this guy. So just a plug in, no temperature control, but I use it for surface mount soldering, um, through hole, basically everything. It's quite easy to swap out the, um, the tips. Just slide them in and out. You can get a whole range of them. Conicals and chisel tips. I tend to prefer to use the chisel tip type bits and have them different sizes. Small and kind of mediums and then say never really like the conical ones. Um, so I've probably had this for 20, 20 years, maybe 25 years. I probably would have originally bought it either in Maplin Electronics or maybe even Pete's Electronics, if people are in Dublin who know that name. Um, fairly uh, cheap, probably would have been only about 20 punts, you know, 25 euros, 30 euros. Um, so, for my replacement, I'm actually going to use another Antex. I might be an Antex fanboy. Um, Antex CS18. So I originally got these, this one, a whole bunch of these for giving uh, workshops and classes related to soldering. Um, this one has been modified. Maybe these were never really hot enough they never kind of retained their heat because we tend to do the soldering in outside areas or big workshops so 18 watts wasn't really enough and um, this one had been hanging out in the tog hacker space for the last number of years and either it's broken it doesn't work or somebody just stole the the socket off it but i'll use the so i'll replace the pvc flex with this silicon one which is much nicer Opening, these are repairable um, devices anyway. They, s they sell um, replacement elements, replacement tips. Not sure if you can get replacement bodies or flexes, but it's a, um, I may have replaced the element in this at some point before. I can remember doing it, um, but it may have been an element for the one I use in my um, adjustable soldering iron. Um, so if we unscrew this guy. And then screw this. Let's see if the donor flexes any good use it looks okay so to do this repair you actually need a soldering iron so luckily I have a few to work with so if we start on soldering this can see there the inside so this is for the um, the earth 
and it's just a resist a resistive heating element. So a lot of um, people will use the kind of the newer kind of instant heating ones. These are quite, as a resistive, they take maybe four or five minutes to heat up to temperature, but it's not too big of an issue for me. You know, usually I have to set up things or pull um, things. I don't have a, a permanent table set up at the moment for doing soldering, so pulling it out and letting it warm up for a few minutes isn't really a, a big issue for me. Oh, that was a bit hard to get off. So that actually might still work. Um, I'm not sure why it was open, but it might be a spare to hang on to. And we'll see if we can get this guy out without breaking it. Yeah, okay. So the body can go. So it looks like this silicon flex should work okay. It might be a little weak in the same spot as the one that broke here, but you don't do a lot of flexing at this point with the way I hold with the way I hold normally hold my soldering iron, so it should last a couple more years anyway. And so the same thing, I just need to take this, this, the old one apart. So we can see here there's a symbol for earth neutral and live so in the UK color coding I'm not sure if it's the same in in Europe green and yellow for earth blue is neutral and brown is live so now let's see how easy this is to try and solder I sort of did it wrong, but luckily I should have put the body on first. But because I need to replace the plug, I, I got away with it. I think they're all soldered in place now. Wait. Reattach the locking screw. And then the screw for the flex. Can put the 
bit back on, or the tip back on. So just to show you the results, the, the soldering iron is back fully working with a, a new flexible heat resistant cable. Thank you.